If you're an American voter like me, you need to stop and watch this video right now. To start trying to push narratives that were we had no, uh, that were not validated. We had no way to validate them. Basically, uh, a letter would come over from somebody in Ukraine. I'd hand it over to John Solomon. Next thing you knew, you were he was on Fox TV two hours later with uh, Sean Hannity. Wow. Um, at what point did Mr. Giuliani begin working directly with Russian agents and Russian assets, individuals who would later become sanctioned by Donald Trump's own Treasury Department? for spreading propaganda and disinformation against Joe Biden? Uh, it was sometime in uh, probably around May, June of 2019. Were you president. aware, was Mr. Giuliani aware that these people were basically just doing the bidding of Vladimir Putin? Absolutely. So he had no hesitation about spreading lies that were concocted by Russian agents? As long as it fit the narrative, absolutely not. How were you and Giuliani able to take these false allegations peddled by corrupt officials and Russian agents and promote and amplify them here in the United States in our political system? Like Weren't know. media groups skeptical of your claims? Um, most media groups, uh, I'd probably say all except for Fox and a few other uh, right wing media groups uh, didn't want to take any of the information and that ag uh, aggravated uh, Rudy Giuliani and John Solomon and other players. And the main group that was being pushed through was Fox, uh, Sean Hannity, and some other media personnel over there. But then there was also other people that were doing the bidding for the Russian uh, people in Congress, like Senator Ron Johnson, like Congressman Pete Sessions that sits here right now that was with me from the very beginning of this journey into finding up the digging dirt on Joe Biden. Did he just say? Yes, he did. He literally just laid it out there. He literally just pointed at a man in Congress and said, that dude right there did it with me. And he's sitting here today. And when they say legacy media, when, when Elon Musk and all those folks are posting all over their accounts that the legacy media is trying to mislead, let, let's get it straight. The legacy media is all the people that turned those stories down. The ones that didn't take the bait. Those, that's legacy media. Fox News, Newsmax, you know, all that crap. That's not real news, okay? The right-wing extremists that Musk is promoting on his platform, that's not real news. So let me break down this whole two and a half minutes in one simple phrase. If you're going to vote for Donald Trump in 2024, you're voting for fucking Russia and Vladimir Putin. It's a freaking fact. How many more people do you need to say it publicly and under oath? Fuck.